Good morning. It's time for Daily Chapel at the LCMS International Center in St. Louis. The text is Revelation chapter 14, verses 14 through 20. The Reverend Dr. Stephen Shave is preaching. The broadcast of Chapel is underwritten by LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces. A reading from the book of Revelation, the 14th chapter. The harvest of the earth. Then I looked, and behold, a white cloud, and seated on the cloud one like a son of man, with a golden crown on his head and a sharp sickle in his hand. And another angel came out of the temple, calling with a loud voice to him who sat on the cloud, Put in your sickle and reap, for the hour to reap has come, for the harvest of the earth is fully ripe. So he who sat on the cloud swung his sickle across the earth and the earth was reaped. Then another angel came out of the temple in heaven, and he too had a sharp sickle. And another angel came out from the altar, the angel who has authority over the fire. And he called with a loud voice to the one who had the sharp sickle, Put in your sickle and gather the clusters from the vine of the earth, for its grapes are ripe. So the angel swung his sickle across the earth and gathered the grape harvest of the earth and threw it into the great wine press of the wrath of God. And the wine press was trodden outside the city, and blood flowed from the wine press as high as a horse's bridle for 1,600 stadia. O oh Lord, have mercy on us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. There really is an end of days. There really will be a day of judgment. There really will be a threshing floor to cut down the wicked and a wine press to crush those who worship the beast and his image. The world can try to bury their heads in the sand, but the day is coming, and it is coming soon. And so we shake our fingers at those people over there who will get what they deserve in the end. Because this can't apply to us, after all, right? We are good people. We do good things. We stand for what is right. And surely we can justify our every thought, our every word, our every deed, when we do unto others who have it coming to them, Or the end justifies the means. But hear this. When the Son of Man comes with the sickle, it will sweep across the whole globe. And when the horses trod down those grapes, the blood will rise up to their chests in a wine press that will fill the earth. Make no mistake, if you are relying on your own goodness or your own righteousness, you reap what you sow. Sowing the seeds of discord and hate and envy and pride and lust and greed. The sickle is sharp, the clusters are ripe as is the harvest of the earth fully ripe for threshing, to separate out all that is evil. No one will escape justice, the bloodbath of this righteous judgment. But raise your heads, lift up your hearts, Wipe your tears of repentance and see this one 
who is coming in the clouds for you. The Son of Man, crowned in glory, with justice in his hands. No longer does he wear his crown of thorns, but a crown of gold. For he is victorious over sin, death, and the devil. The incense of his fiery sacrifice upon the cross rises up into the heavens. And this sweet smell is pleasing to God his Father. He has taken that cup that was filled with all of the wrath of God for the sins of the whole world. And he drank it down to the wretched dregs. He was trod down outside the holy city, crushed for our iniquities and bruised for our salvation. He was the grain offering in the grain harvest. With his body has given us the very bread of life for the forgiveness of all of our sins. See now. See now that he has been raised victorious. See now that he has fulfilled his promise to come again to judge the living and the dead. See him coming in the clouds to declare his victory. He comes again to put an end to all evil. He comes again to grant you eternal life. When he comes to harvest the earth on the last day, see to then, see to then, this means that our harvest labors will not be complete until it comes to completion in the day of our Lord. Even in these dark and latter days, the fields are still white for harvest, ripe for the yield. And so we are to keep plowing the soil. We are to keep planting the seed of the gospel. We work in the vineyard and the fields of our master until the Lord of the harvest will come to reap what was sown. Indeed, Christ was crushed down in the wine press and poured Himself out on the cross that His blood would cover the sins of the whole world. And He drank that cup that for all who believe and repent would become the one cup in His name. Because this is the fruit of the cross. They would become the one loaf made up of all of the various grains scattered across the whole earth. He comes to gather us unto Himself that we might be made one by grace through faith. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, we wait with great anticipation for the coming of the Son of Man on the clouds. Because it will be a signal. It will be a signal that the war has finally ended between God and the dragon, between the beasts and the church, and that we will finally have eternal rest, and peace. No more toiling. No more suffering. No more grieving. No more battle to fight. Just the feast. The feast of victory of our Lord. Because with the final grain harvest, and with the last vintage yielded will come the feast and a banquet that has no end.
to eat this bread and to drink this cup forever and ever. Come, Lord Jesus. Come soon. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining us for chapel. Today we pray for the congregations of the Iowa District East and their pastors, together with all schools, teachers, and church workers. We also pray for Reverend Adam and Christine Lehman, who serve the Lord in Spain. The broadcast of chapel is underwritten by LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces. To learn more about LCMS International Mission and Ministry to the Armed Forces, visit kfuo.org chapel.